Good morning, air signs. It is Dharma here to do a daily for you. This is for March 4th and 5th, 2021 for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius for about 24 to 36 hours from whenever you watch this. Sun, moon, rising, and cross watchers. Woof. Just saw the bat. This is the animal spirit. Okay, guides, angels our ancestors for our tribe, the peacock. I heard today's the day. Look, it doesn't this, I heard all eyes on you. Doesn't this look like a bunch of eyes right here? I also heard what say you. There's something about the peacock. I heard razzle dazzle. <laughs> Oh, and the swans. Of course. And there's that old hummingbird. Look at that hummingbird and Ganesh. We've been seeing both of these in the dailies for about a week or so. But the swans coming out, first of all, you have air and water. Second of all, they are, this is the saddest looking swan I've ever seen. I don't know why they look so sad, but they do, or it feels sad, it feels melancholy. Uh, it could be a water sign, doesn't have to be. But you have, this looks sad too, I mean these all look, and I don't typically see animals as happy or sad, but the vibes off of it. You have all these ones watching over here, but it might be... The swans are grace and beauty and poise and things that are delicate. They mate for life. Okay, and then you have the starfish. Doesn't it look like this starfish here is reaching out and grabbing that one and grabbing that one? Because it looks like they're not seeing eye to eye. It does. That's adorable. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks like just like that like they're reaching out like come back together come together right now over me because the peacock is loud and boisterous and they do things for show the idea this is one of those animals that are not designed to blend in when you see a fucking peacock, you know that that's exactly what that is. And they walk around. I lived in Cincinnati for a spell. Okay, they had peacocks in the zoo. And you, when they came through, you needed to move. Because they said so. Not the zoo, but because the peacocks said so. Okay, they're just extra. <laughs> but the swan has one thing on their mind. It is... Her love you is easy cause you're beautiful. It's like why don't why don't this one's not I don't know if they're not paying attention or if they're if they have so much attention on them because of who they are and what they are and what they look like or whatever. Okay. They're looking in opposite directions. They're not paying attention. That's the best that I can come up with. Okay. It's because there is a lot of energy around them. I'm not sure exactly what the starfish is. Um, you would think it would be a water sign. But it looks like they're stretched. This, this whole relationship might be overstretched. My point is, is something is bridging the gap. You have this one that's deep in their feelings, but they're coming across as doing things with grace and poise. You have this one who is just out loud. Okay, you could do, life is busy. And then you have some kind of energy in the center that want, there has to be a reason why these two birds, birds of a feather flock together, right? are supposed to be together. There's some kind of under the, because a, a starfish, you can see them typically, but they live under the surface. 
there's something under the surface that these either of these birds are not picking up on and it's asking for it to come out yeah spiritual will So here the fiery sword is protection. That might even be what this is. The reason that these two keep being drawn together is because the universe or what have you is, is be, we talked about the other day, we talked about the fact that the um, starfish is sticky, has sticky feet. They are sticky. They stick to things. They stick together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There might be some kind of infiltration that in one way or another tries to happen at this today. Okay. Hi. Yeah, good news. Look at these two. This is really, really, really great news, whatever this is. This feels like both the people. But look at how one is really super extra, okay, out loud. I'm gonna focus. Right there. That is such a beautiful card. She's super duper extra, out loud. And this one is kind of gliding along glass, maybe not necessarily looking to see. I'm gonna do, I feel like I'm gonna do this, but I'm afraid. And then you have the fairy godmother at the bottom. Something is also being grounded, okay? And what I mean by that is brought to a stable place, all right? So we do have a sudden shock here and it feels like it's on, because do you see the melancholy that I see in this, these birds? It's like a sudden change, something brings them together. And it might be a, the starfish. We'll see what that is, especially in the extended. I'm going to get a full read on who each of these people are. Whoa. The new moon maiden flung out right on top of these. It's excitement. I feel like whatever happens here with this starfish, okay, causes these birds to turn around. Like that. It's like the matrix flips upside down somehow. And now we're coming together. Oh. And then you have the rabbits. That's a one. New beginnings. It's sex procreation. It's sudden. It's kind of amazing. The tree. Did Wasn't I saying something becomes grounded? Oh my God. That's exactly what that says. Come on, auto focus, focus. Boom. I just tricked the camera. Put it in the ground, put it in the bag. Oh my goodness. And then the bridge. So something becomes real. And uh, we have Pisces. It could even be like uh, two soulmates and one person in their family that feels really different. And now because of some kind of shock and all of this stuff, they everything changes. This peacock gets their life back, gets their light back. but everybody's coming together. 
Look. Oh, jeez. That's adorable. There's a deep, there's, uh, there's a deep commitment here. All day long, all the way around. And it's somehow or other, things have been changed. Things have not been going well. That's why the birds were flipped. But the starfish, there's something about this moment here that comes in and <clears throat> flips the matrix upside down. Okay, so let's go to the extended and see. This is for March 4th and 5th, 2021. Um, the link for the extended is in the box below. It's at my website, dharmajane.com. It's going to be under daily tarot. There's categories. If you click on it, it'll take you over there. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget to check us out every day on the channel live for daily interactive tarot. Until next time, have a good one.